Welcome back. My next guest, well, you know him as the uh, longtime host of a Prairie Home Companion. He's the author of the new book, The Killer Reader, which is a, a book is like a papery blog. <laughs> like a very long tweet. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like very, very long tweet. Very long. On paper. It's very good. <laughs> Look, that's him there. Let's see if he's actually that size when he comes out. <laughs> Please welcome Garrison Keillor, everybody. Garrison Keillor. Yeah. Well, it's very nice to see you. You're enormous. I was expecting a tiny little yeah, gentleman. No, I mean, I've grown. Uh, you're, you're huge. What am I doing in that picture? I think you're, uh, you're tearing up paper in frustration. I'm dropping paper. Are you? Mm -hmm. do you is that how you do the radio show? You read it and then throw them away? And Not a lot of uh, digital skills going on in that picture. <laughs> Are you technologically friendly? Do you have a Tweety and a, and a Facebook and all that? <laughs> Ding. Typewriter. You still use a typewriter? Of course. Excellent. Is it, uh, is it uh, an electric typewriter or a... Uh... No, 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 no. You have to hit really hard. You have to mean it when you write something. I think that helps. It really does. I bet it does. Hit it hard, and I have a, an O, a kind of an awkward O, so I try to avoid using O's. I try and avoid using them as well, but just because. You just used one. Well, they say, I did. Mm. I regret it. Well, there's no O in regret, sir. <laughs> Are you something of a Luddite? Do you not like technology? Are you grumpy about it or...? I love to see it in other people, you know? That camera over there, I mean, I'm... That's not really breaking ground in technology, that camera, so... I like the fact that he's operating it and not me. I see. You can't do that then. Can you drive? Of course I can drive. I'm, I'm an American. I, I am too. Yeah, congratulations! I'm, thanks very much indeed. How's it working out so far? Well, it's okay. It you know it, it started well and yeah, mm -hmm. it seems to be going all right. I'm still here mm -hmm. and I got my tattoo and it's all fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your people are from Scotland, aren't they? Uh, part of us, yes. Which, which part? The top. The top. <laughs> yeah. Where, where's the bottom part from then? <laughs> Uh, Yorkshire, so... Oh, right, you know. in the north of England. Yeah, right. So, yeah, well, that's, that's yeah. fine. They're all very near to each other. Have you ever been over to Scotland? Many times, many times, and I felt right at home. See, old people my age who were walking around in, in, in suit coats and, and uh, sweaters buttoned up and walking in the rain without umbrellas. I love that. <laughs> These people aren't old. They're not. No, they, that's probably the teenagers. They just look that way. <laughs> it's very, very, very cold and wet. No, not all the time, actually. It's lovely. I go back there often now. I used to be quite angry at it, but I'm over it now. I'm old. Good. Yeah. Good. So we don't need to talk about it? Yeah, we can if you want. Well, no. Do you, uh, do you play golf or drink whiskey? Or? No, 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 no. Takes up too much time. You don't have any time when you get to be my age. I'm 71. It's a great, That's it's a old, fabulous yes. age. No, it's a great age. Yeah. And um, it has its drawbacks, you know. People, people call you sir. Uh, you haven't yet, but uh, you were I'm thinking get, it. No, I, I'm getting old myself. I didn't uh -huh. want to, you know. Sorry, sir. People reach, people reach for your elbow, you know, when you're coming up, even oh, two yeah. stairs. Yeah, I know. They ask you if you'd rather use the elevator, you know. Or just, just do that to you. What did I do? I don't know. I was just doing that in case, oh. in, case, in case there was a part of you that you wanted me to lift up. Boy, we're getting intimate awful and sudden here. Well, you know, I feel as I get older that, you know, the dance has to go a little faster to reach a crescendo, if you know what I'm saying. I don't. Well, you know, I'm running out of time. I have no time for foreplay. I just have to get straight to the... 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 the Sorry, I, I, got, I got to the end too quickly there. Yes, I was very right. excited. 
Now, what about uh, what about the idea of retirement? Is that something you would ever think about? No, no, no. That Good for you. Terrible mistake. I did that when I was uh, I was 43 and I retired. And it's, it just didn't work out for me. Yeah. Well, no golf, no whiskey. I mean, if you don't drink g whiskey or play golf, it's... Not a lot to what do. What do you do? What yeah, do you do? no, I, I totally agree. I, I'm finishing this show at the end of the year. I have no idea what I'll do. Probably get drunk. Can we help? <laughs> no, it's all right. I'll figure something will turn you up. You will. You'll write yeah. books. I'm going to write a film with me and Susan Sarandon, actually. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, she's a very attractive woman, you know. She is indeed. Yeah. Are you going to be in it or behind it or what? <laughs> We're still talking about the film, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to be a bit of both. You know, I'd be in it, behind it, all over it. Really, really, Just, really get right in there and you know, get involved. You want to come on my show and promote? Yeah, I would love to be on your show. Oh, I've great. always wanted to be on that show. You've never asked me on that show. Well, uh, come on and do an accent or something. <laughs> Don't know that I could. Well, what kind of accent are we talking? Dracula? I can do Dracula, but only sort of West Hollywood Dracula. <laughs> I've got a lot of Draculas already. So uh, all right, something else. Um, a Scottish a Dracula. I want to drink your blood. <laughs> Farty donkey. Uh, <laughs> No, I don't see that it would work. No? Okay. What about therapy? You in therapy? Me? No, no, no. Never. You? You won't. Well, you're very good with poetry, though. I think it's the same thing. I mean, you, you find very good... I've got your book, uh, Good Poems for Hard Times, and I go to it sometimes for hard times. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to get hard times, but to get myself right, through okay, a hard okay, time. Right, sometimes for a hard time. I misunderstood. No, no. Well, some of those poems are quite difficult to read. Mm, mm, mm. No, I only wrote uh, poems to impress uh, women, <laughs> which uh, I can imagine was a, was a challenge, yeah. you know, but, but uh, Shakespeare did it for the same reason. All those sonnets, they were all written for women. Now, there's been some debate about that. Might not be a woman, might be a chap. Have you heard that? No, I, and I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> then I recant it. Thank you. All right. But, uh, no, I, people do that. They want to, you know, get it on. They want to. Yeah, want yeah, you know. They want to be poetic what, what and be... Mean? Well, this is a kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a Scottish thing. It's like this, <laughs> but it's like that. Ah, yeah. Of course. No, I mean, that's... Uh, well, love poems, yes, of course. But are you talking lust poems? What's the difference exactly? Well, love poem, you know, it's a kind of longing. We all go, no, no, you, you, no you're mocking me. So a love poem is when she's not there, and a lust poem is when she is. Not necessarily. No, I think a lust poem is if when you really wish she was there, like now, and a love poem is, eh, when you can make it. Yeah. You come from a different country. <laughs> In so many ways. Yeah. Uh, well, we're out of time. Um, how do you want to end this? Uh, awkward pause? Uh, you want to play the mouth organ? Um, mm. Dance with a horse, if you like. I want to see you exhale. <laughs> I want to see smoke. Oh, this? Oh, no, no. I, the CBS would never allow that. Oh. I might corrupt the youth of America. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I think they're a bit ahead of me, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you are. We're out of time. But this I will read. Uh, now, what is this, by the way? It's, I know it's a book, but uh, is it a new book? It's a book of uh, short things, so that uh, if you get tired of one, you know, you just switch to another. It's, I love these sorts of books. You, 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 there's not too much of anything. So if it's painful or it's boring, it, it won't last long. You That's just, why... Keep turning the pages. Why we have commercial breaks on this show. Same thing. Yeah. Is it time for one now? Or? Oh, if you want. Mm. Garrison Keeler, everybody. We were right.